Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel, back with a very, very quick video here. Now this is about transformers. If you're working with 110, if you're in the UK and you work with 110, then you're probably gonna have a transformer. Horrible things to lug about. We all hate them, but it's life, you've gotta have them. I had to buy this very recently because my other transformer got stolen by a couple of rogue builders. I left it on site for five minutes. I went back there and it was gone and they were going, Transformer, what Transformer? I ain't seen your Transformer. So, you know, I know they got it. But anyway, I went and bought a new one and I've never really looked at the instructions on the Transformer before. Really interesting, for me at least, is that these are made for intermittent use. In other words, you're not supposed to switch this thing on, leave it running all day and just continue to use it because they overheat. They've got no ventilation, they've got nothing else. So what they have is they have a thermal switch on here that you have to reset. So if you've been caning it with this transformer, you will find that it will just go off. And of course, what we tend to do is just pump the button until it goes back on again. What you should do is you should use this intermittently. In other words, you should use it for five minutes and then you should allow it to rest for about 15 minutes. So that's the way you've got to arrange your work if you like, but what you don't do is I've got a 110 breaker, stick your 110 breaker in there and carry on breaking away all day long because you would overheat that transformer, you would do it no good, and if you keep popping that reset, that thermal reset in and it hasn't had time to cool down, you will be shortening the life of that transformer. The key thing to remember is that they're intermittent, that they need to cool down, that they're not designed for continuous use. And when you wire them up, by the way, you have to wire them up so that you've got your earth going through to this, but because they're kind of double wound and there's a separation between the drawer there, there is actually an earth pole in there. So you still need to earth it even though the earth isn't a continuous thing all the way through, you still need to earth it properly. So if you're wiring up to anything, don't neglect to do that. And the other thing that I find interesting is that if you're using this indoors, even putting it on a carpet means that it can't lose its heat. So it's actually much better on a cold surface on the floor or something like that, where the heat from the transformer can be absorbed by the cold surface and keep it a little bit cooler. But if you're running it in the indoors on a carpet and you're using it continuously, then you will find that it will trip out. So just a bit of information that I discovered and I didn't really know that these things weren't designed for continuous use. I'm Roger Bisbee. I hope you found that interesting and useful. As I say, every day is a school day and uh, I learned something. I hope you did too.